So about a week ago, Crea AI announced the integration of Flux as their official image generation tool. Now, if you're not familiar with Flux, it's the latest image generation tool that's giving Leonardo AI and Midjourney a run for their money. It's also the same image generation tool embedded in Grok within the X platform. Now, I'm a big fan of Crea AI, mainly because I've been using their image enhancement tool for quite some time now. Now, as for image generation, I've been using Leonardo AI for the past few months. However, that might soon come to an end based on what I'm seeing so far with Flux. So first, let me explain the pricing and how the compute usage works. So the basic plan starts at about $10 per month and you get about 36,000 real-time image generations. So each image you generate with Flux consumes something called compute time. So for example, a single image might just take a small amount of compute time in comparison to a more complex image, which requires more detail and more processing power and therefore consumes more compute time. Now, one thing I like about the interface is that the images that get generated are in the middle. And if you want to scroll back to the previous generations, all you have to do is just scroll up. Now, there is a settings button just down here. When you click onto it, it gives you the option to select different aspect ratios for the image generation. There's also this button down here, which generates random prompts. And this is great for inspiration. And on the right here, there's a bunch of random preset styles that you can add to the image. Okay, now let me show you guys how quickly I can generate four images in real time. All right, ready, set, go. All right, so I've generated four images there. You can see this bar here. All right, so that one's already done. That one's already done. Yep, that one's done as well. And the final image here as well. So that didn't take very long. What was it? Maybe about 15 seconds. And it's generated four random images. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool. Like that one's awesome. Uh, that one's pretty detailed as well. Um, yep, very realistic. And oh, look, it's kind of like an anime style one. Yeah, very, very cool. Now let's save all of these images and upscale them using the enhancement tool. All right, so I'll just click here, save that one, save that one. Uh, we will save this one and let's also save this one. Now we just have to click here where it says enhance. And if you haven't used this tool before, it's very simple. Uh, we'll just go to where I saved it. So let's click that. All right, now all you have to do is click enhance to start over here. Boom. All right, so I've enhanced all four images. I'll be honest, it took about maybe I'd say between one minute to two minutes, probably even less just to, just to enhance all four of them. All right, so here's the first one. And this is what I love just going left and right. And you can see the difference there. Very, very cool. Here's the second one as well. And you guys can make your own choice. Um, and look, well, yeah, I mean, some of the details are cool. I wouldn't even enhance this image, but, you know, it's done a good job in the in the clouds there. And also the individual pieces of grass as well, but it's not the best, it's not the best image to enhance. All right, so this one's interesting. It's sort of like the anime style or cartoon one. Um, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Like it's it's still keeping it the same style, but it's it's really doing a great job with the enhancement. And uh, here's the final one. And you could say this is more of a realistic image. Um, yeah, and I think it's done a very good job here as well. All right, now I'm gonna play you guys a quick video, which is going to showcase a comparison between all three image generation models, Flux, Leonardo AI, and Midjourney. So comment down below guys, let me know which model generated the best images. All right, now let's look at some images that I generated within Flux. Now, mind you, these are all enhanced and I've put them through Runway Gen 3. Starting first with Mother Nature. Thank you. 
Next, when we focus on objects, the detail is so defined. Now portraits are unbelievably good when you run them through Runway Gen 3. Now Flux does really well with text and logo design. I was actually very surprised with this one. Let's design some random characters. And cinematic shots are also something that I'm going to explore on another video. Now before I show you guys the rest of the examples, I do want to give my verdict on the image generator. Look, considering it's fairly new in comparison to Mid Journey and Leonardo, I'm actually impressed that it does generate images better in some areas. And for me, I really love how you get the image generation and also the Krea enhancement tool all in one. Look, I'm highly considering canceling my Leonardo AI subscription, which is actually a very big deal for me, especially as a content creator. For now, I'm gonna give this model an 8.1 out of 10, and that is like literally a very high score considering how new the model is. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of the generations, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.